everyone, Brad Kilpatrick here from World Rugby Shop. Today we're going to be talking about scrum caps and what to consider when buying one and choosing a brand and fit that works for you. A scrum cap is the most noticeable piece of equipment a rugby player can opt to wear and let's make no bones about it, they often evoke some strong feelings. Some players feel they're useless and give a false sense of security and others, often in the type 5, feel they're a necessity. Like most voluntary pieces of equipment, it ultimately comes down to personal preference and whether the benefits outweigh any potential downsides. First, let's take a look at the basics of a scrum cap. At its core, a scrum cap is just a padded cap that covers the head. It's a chin strap, it's padding, it's going to cover the head, and it's going to have laces in the back for fine-tuning the fit. Regulation 12 from World Rugby governs the construction of a scrum cap and has specific requirements for the padding thickness, specific zones of coverage, ear hole dimensions, and the player's field of vision. Detailed information concerning Regulation 12 is available in the written scrum cap guide found on worldrugbyshop.com and included at the end of this video if you'd like to learn more about the specifics. Given the strict requirements of Regulation 12, every scrum cap will have similar performance and safety. The difference primarily comes in comfort, style, and fit between brands. So now that we understand the construction, it's important to understand what the scrum cap is and is not designed to accomplish. Scrum caps are meant to protect the head and ears from scrapes, cuts, abrasions, and cauliflower ear. When it comes to reducing these types of superficial injuries, scrum caps are excellent. It's for these reasons that scrum caps exist and why a player should wear one. What scrum caps are not meant to do is prevent concussion. It's a very common misconception and it's important to understand this is not a benefit. There is no evidence they help with concussions and you should not wear one for this reason. So bearing that in mind, let's talk about the benefits and drawbacks to wearing a scrum cap. All players wearing a scrum cap can benefit from a reduction of bleeding head wounds and cauliflower ear. The head's protected from the inadvertent elbow or knee, which can result in a split scalp that you might pick up in a ruck or a tackle. This makes it potentially valuable for every player in every position, but certain positions require more physical contact, like pack players, type 5, will see the most benefit out of this. On top of all the tackling and rucking required of all rugby players, scrummaging in particular can be very, very rough on the ears. Scrum caps can help by covering the ear and creating a barrier to protect it from the friction of scrummaging that causes cauliflower ear. This is very similar to how a wrestler's headgear works. While taping ears can help in the scrum and help with the cauliflower ear, it doesn't provide any protection to the scalp or the head. So a scrum cap is going to offer protection for both the ears and the scalp in one piece of equipment. The only real downside of wearing a scrum cap is that it can be hot, uncomfortable if poorly fitted, and generally just feel constricting. Some players care more about this than others, but there are no real performance issues with wearing one. As long as you feel comfortable, there are no reasons not to wear one. So now that you know the basic purpose of a scrum cap and the pros and cons to wearing one, let's look at specifics on choosing the model that is right for you. Firstly, it's important to buy only World Rugby approved headgear. You run the risk of faulty equipment that's not going to meet safety standards or you're going to have a referee make you remove it on game day. All approved scrum caps will have a tag denoting this on the inside. Without this approval, you can't be sure the cap will have the necessary safety and performance features you need to play safely and confidently. So long as the scrum cap is World Rugby approved, one is not safer than another. What that means is that most, the most important things to consider uh, are comfort and fit. This is where the main points of difference between brands and price points comes in. Lower price point scrum caps tend to use lower quality materials that still meet World Rugby minimum standards, um, fasteners and fewer bigger pieces of foam padding. This means the caps will often not conform to the head as well and can be rougher around the edges, literally. Uh, higher end scrum caps tend to utilize more smaller honeycomb or grid style padding that molds around the head better and just use generally better quality materials. Some even have antimicrobial properties in the fabric which can help keep odor down. But importantly, you're not sacrificing safety when you go for an entry level scrum cap, even if aesthetically and comfort wise you might. Next up is picking a basic size and fit. Scrum caps should fit snugly so they don't slide around and obscure your vision, but not be excessively tight. And similarly, the chin strap should be flush against the chin, but not so tight it restricts breathing or talking. Getting the right fit is a really straightforward process. First, you'll need to choose the base size that fits your head. And to figure that out, you just need to take a tape measure, measure across your forehead, just above your ears, all the way around. This is going to give you the circumference of your head. Uh, and this exact number will marry up to the appropriate size for you. The laces at the back will let you fine tune the tightness of the cap, so uh, there's some margin for error here when you're choosing the size that works for you, as long as you're close on the initial size. 
And there you have it. All the basics you need to understand what a scrum cap is for and what to look for when you're buying one. It's important to emphasize again that the added protection of a scrum cap should not translate to more reckless play. As with every piece of rugby equipment, the scrum cap is not designed to replace good technique and does not provide sufficient protection for leading with your head and tackles like you would an American football style tackle. But a good scrum cap can help prevent some cuts and cauliflower ear and make for a generally safer experience. We hope this guide helps you understand more about scrum caps and why you may want to use one. A written version of this guide with World Rugby Regulation 12 specifics is available at worldrugbyshop.com.